she'd take the day off on Friday, come into town with me, choose a wedding dress. Fine. Do you not even care what I look like when I walk up the aisle? Babe, you look absolutely beautiful in a bin liner. <laughs> you see me mum's face? <laughs> oh, here they are. Love's young dream, do you know what? Makes my heart glad it really does. Mm -hmm. Well, we've just been discussing my wedding dress and Kieran suggests a bin bag. I never said that. <laughs> you boy, whatever you want, love. Actually, do you know what? I might pop over to the venue later. What's the name of the woman you've been speaking to? Because I could do with just chatting through the menu with her. Excuse me, but who's the chef in this family? I know that, but I just... But no buts. I'll pop over in a bit myself. Okay. See ya. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when she finds out you've lost the deposit for that hotel. I can't believe your man Carl stitched me up like that. Stitch you up? He didn't stitch you up. He had better cards, that's all. That's the name of the game. So, tell me, how are you going to manage to pay for the venue, then? No idea. I could kick myself. Well, I won't worry about that, mate. Michelle will do that for you when she finds out about the money. Cheers, pal. Morning when I went to the loo. Uh, ah, proper little Miss Marple, you. Yeah. Right, I uh, better get to work. Would you like me to walk you to the bus stop for you? In more ways, does that? Uh, yeah, you'd best get off. I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, don't you have one of those devices that tells you where the traffic jams are? Then turn on your radio and give Sally traffic a bash. Just get here. I'm sorry, Mr... McCarthy. Ah, of course. Wedding, isn't it? I can see you're busy. Oh, I've got a sweet 16 at two and a van with a life-size ice sculpture of Tiny Tempest stuck on the M56. <laughs> oh, if it doesn't get here soon, there won't be enough. Left for a round of Shirley Temples. <laughs> I'm here to pay my deposit. Ah, great. Accounts were asking about that this morning. Only there's a bit of a problem. Oh? Myself and my fiancé are just back after working on a cruise and there's been a problem with our debit card. Uh, there's been some expenditure in Manchester and they're saying that it's an unusual pattern, <laughs> whatever that means. Anyway, they've cancelled it. Oh, right. They do that sometimes. Bill, could you complete your inflating in the Marston suite, please? This is a public area, <laughs> not a fairground. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, 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 it's me that should be apologising. Anyway, I'm going to nip down to the bank and sort it out. Uh, we do need that deposit. I've already had several inquiries about your date. If you could just give me a couple of days. My fiance has gone out of her mind, but worry. Pretty, please. OK, I'll give you till Friday. Otherwise, I'll have to let it go. Fifty smackaroonies result. Meanwhile, I can't even win a flaming center on this thing. I can't believe a mug like Kira carries around this kind of wedge. What wedge? Oh, it's just uh, Kirk's just won uh, big time at poker. <laughs> Last man standing. Oh, not of you, I hope. Oh, no, I come out evens. He, uh, yeah, he wants me to pop it in the safe for him. All right, I'll do it for you. No, I, uh, I told him to get down the bank with it. There's uh, interest to be earned there, my son. Mm. Well, don't go put it on the machine, Kirk. Uh, I won't. The notes won't fit in the slot anyway. <laughs> so what do you want me to do with this again? Yeah. Right, just make sure the missus doesn't know it's mine. If you see any of the lads, tell them to keep stum as well. How come? Well, because she just wants to put it on something practical, like um, paying the bills, whereas I am going to have fun with it. You know what I mean, Kirky? Hi, love. I'm just off into town, run a few errands. OK. Have fun. Yeah, I will. Do you know where Cheryl is? Get out! Go 
on, I said get now, out. She, she's got my son with her. She's not answering my calls. Well, I doubt she ever will again after what you did. She told me everything. I oh, know it's a stupid thing to do, but I'm, I'm desperate here. I ain't about having a brain tumour. Don't get more desperate than that. I do have a brain tumour. Except you forgot to mention the tiny detail that you're getting better. Look, please, Peter, you're, you're a father. I just want to know where my son is. Too late for that, sorry. Now get out. Oi! Get out. Unbelievable. As if Cheryl would want to lay eyes on him again. Well, I doubt she'll have one look Lloyd in the face again. After what she did, I mean, what was that? What was she playing at? Well, she thought the father of a child was dying. So she sleeps with him? I mean, wouldn't a bunch of flowers and a get-well card have been easier? Right, I'm gonna go and get some lunch. Do you want anything to bring him back? Uh, yes, please, love. That'd be nice. Hiya. Hey, Evan. You've not said anything to Leanne, have you? It's just that I don't want Stella to know about me win. No, no, I've not said anything, no. It's a good win, though. What are you going to spend it on? Oh, I'm going to pop into town, got my eye on a mad new telly. Way out of my price range normally, but... Oh, man, poor old kid. You know that money? That was for his wedding. Ah, I'm all fooling. Oh, no. I can't argue with that. Tell you what, mate. Whilst I'm here... I've had to send for that Mary from over the road. Oh, but Norris thinks he can swan off leaving me without my dinner. What's so urgent? He's gone to watch the trial of two complete strangers. Copy of his, is it? No. It's them two that were involved in the charity scam at the soup kitchen. Rob and Janet? Yeah, why Norris should be interested in, I don't know. You at least had some connection with oh. them. Burley. Besides, no matter how crooked they might have been, they kept my belly full a good few times. And it's thanks to that place that Rita and me got together again. I'll always be grateful to them for that. <laughs> Apparently, Kirk won that poker game last night. Mind you, the way he's going, he's going to end up putting it all on that thing. Hey, Kirk, if you're determined to chuck away your winnings, do it over at our place, eh? Well, I call the flashing lights and not on these things. Hey, she's only kidding, Kirk. No, I'm not. How much do you win, anyway? Uh, I like to keep that kind of information private. Will you stop winding up my customers, you? I'm sorry, I hope you take. <laughs> yes, Rita. Well, I can't believe he's got the nerve to show his face in here after what he did to Chris. I know. Lloyd of all people. I can scarcely credit it attacking a dying man. Hi, Rita. Uh, a pint, small sherry and vodka and tonic, please. Nope. Look, if anyone's got anything to say, just say it, yeah? Well, I've got plenty to say, matey, but you won't like it. You don't know what you're talking about, mate, so you back off. You like playing the hard man with people that are dying. All right, that's enough. Leanne, stay out of it. And you lot, if you're going to kick off, do it outside or I'll bar the lot of you. Oh, and leave him alone. What's it to you, love? Leanne, you know what he did to Chris? He's a dying man. Uh, no, he's not, actually. Come again? I spoke to Cheryl. His radiotherapy worked. He was in remission. He was just pretending to be at death's door just so he could get back with her. Oh, so he's playing the sympathy card. When did you find this out? A few weeks back. We all fell for it and... Cheryl fell for him. But how could he do that? Have he's been worried sick? Oh, Lloyd. This is mad, this. I take back everything I said, mate. Let's forget it. Is that why Cheryl's left, Lloyd? How she found out he was lying? Oh, let me get you a drink, eh? Forget it. Do you know what? Forget it. I've changed my mind. Blue boy, you flaming mag! Oh. See, I told you back to donkey, didn't I? I told you. I don't believe that. Celtic cladder. Yep. This is my dad's lucky cladder ring. Well, Gotta be a good omen. Right. 100 quid. Celtic cladder to win. 8 to 1. Right. Hey. How you doing? I didn't think you'd have a chance to get lunch, so. There you go. Oh, best fiance ever. Mm-hmm. Mm. Everything go okay at the venue? Of course, yeah. Tip top. Good. Can't wait to see it all glammed up. Do you reckon we could go down there again later so I can have another look? No, they've got another event on. Oh, well, maybe tomorrow then. Oh, uh, yeah. Listen, I've got to go. I've loads to sort out. Oh, how lucky am I? My own personal wedding arranger. Mm-hmm. You just leave everything to me, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, my son, come on! Oh, no! Does anybody ever win at this rat? 
Yeah. Not only me, but uh, hey, keep that to yourself. No point in stopping now, I suppose. Listen, Carl, as happy as I am to take your money, uh, I'm sorry, mate, I can't. Hey, look, you're practically family. You've already dropped over 800 quid. Come on. <laughs> well, you should be delighted. Yeah, well, normally I would be, but listen, do yourself a favour. Spend what you've got left on Stella. Take her somewhere nice. It'll pay you better in the long run. Yeah, I suppose you're right. No, I'll have fun while it lasted. See you later. See you, mate. Kuching. All right, mate. Yeah, hell of a game last night, wasn't it? Yeah, for you, maybe. Listen, I need a favour. The sound of this already. It's that money you won off me last night. It was the deposit from your wedding venue. Yeah, I heard. It wasn't even my money. Michelle's parents gave it to us. Mate, listen. Look, I know it goes against the whole point of gambling and cards and all, but it's my marriage at stake here, pal. I haven't got it. Hey? Call me an idiot, but dropped in to see Peter. Thought I'd own a lucky streak and. You lost it on a horse? A few horses. Same result. Peter's got that money now, mate. Not me. Sorry. Thanks, son. How are you, buddy? Well, I'm a lot better than you, I'd imagine. <laughs> Listen, I've got a favour to ask. It's a pretty biggie. Eh? Yeah? I'm intrigued. Come on, then. Yeah. Will you be my best man? Oh. <laughs> oh, mate, yeah, I will. Thanks, <laughs> oh, cheers, man. Hey, we need to celebrate. No champagne, but I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stick the kettle on. We need to drink to this. Hey, do you know what? I thought you'd never ask me. <laughs> Good. Hey, do you know how long you've been? You know those uh, con people from your soup kitchen? Well, they've just been found guilty on all charges, so justice has been done. Oh, good. Now perhaps you can get on with doing a bit of work. <laughs> Shall I put the kettle on? <laughs> I'm surprised at your apathy. Especially you, Dennis. I mean, well, you were part of the whole story. I just went there for a bit of free scrap. Oh, yes, but, but they took advantage of you. No, they didn't. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I disagree. Hey, and so did the woman from the Gazette. I, I alerted her, you know, to well, my connection with you and your connection to the fraudsters, and she thought it was a great story. You might even get a mention in this evening's edition. What did you tell her? Well, well you know, just that, well, Rita had found you there and... Well, how you'd change your whole life around and now you had a roof over your head on Coronation Street. Oh, it's all very uplifting. Did I give you permission to go blabbing about my private life in front of all and sundry? Hey? Why don't you mind your own business, you nosy little man? Well, I... Oh, the stories I'm going to be able to tell in my speech, eh? You just go easy, mate. Hey, cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. So, how'd you get on at the um, venue? Did you manage to scrape a grand back? Actually, yeah, about oh, that. Sorry, sorry, I got held up at Rise. Talking to Anna about one of the teachers at Bessie Street. All right, Kieran. Hey. Hey, it all kicked off in the pub about Chris and all. I'm in tomorrow, all right, for you? Yes, yeah, great, love. Hey, listen. Guess who's going to be Kieran's best man? Ah, oh, that's great. Oh, look at his little face. He's that chuffed. He would have killed you if you picked someone else, you know. <laughs> hey, you've got that right. Right, I'll make myself a brew then. Sorry, mate, what were you saying before? That money Carl won off me last night. He said he blew it in here. Yeah, he did. Most of it. Tell you what, it's been a great day for me so far. I need it back. So you still not told Michelle? No, and I won't have to if you can just pretend the last 24 hours never happened. So you thought you'd come in here? Open with the best man thing and then raise with this? Look, I'm begging you, Peter. It's no skin off your nose. He won it off me and you won it off him. No skin off my nose? I'm a bucky. This is my livelihood. No. Do you know what? If you'd have come in here and you'd have been honest with me, we could have talked about it. Instead of trying to flannel me with all this blarney. I'm your best mate. I'm not some bird you're trying to pull. Now get off your high horse, will you? How many times have I dragged you out of the gutter? Saved your face from being caved in when you're melting off the somebody three sheets to the wind. Go on. Get out. <sighs> Look, there's not going to be a wedding, mate, if I don't get that cash back. Tough. It's your problem. 
checkmate. So is I moving in? No, of course not. But he owns the house and he sleeps here now. No, he doesn't. Look, you know that me and Owen were going out, right? More like staying in. Oh, you know what I mean. But me going out with someone doesn't change how I feel about you and Gary, does it? I know he don't like me. Hey, what's give you that idea? Do you think I'd go out with somebody who didn't like a beautiful, clever little rascal like you? Oh, just come here. Of course Owen likes you. And remember, we're the women in this family, right? You know, without us, the whole thing falls apart, so I need to know that you're on my side, OK? I suppose. Well, there's no suppose about it. Now, how about me and you watch one of your DVDs? Just the two of us, a special treat. Can I go and have this in the shed instead? On your own? I just want to chill and listen to my music. Well, yeah, of course you can. You know, you're as bad as our Gary was in that shed. All the years that I've known him, and that's how he treats me. Well, he's desperate. I told him at the game not to be such an idiot, but would he listen? He put the battle in the first place, then he expects me to bail him out. What am I supposed to do? Tie myself in knots trying to lose Carl's bets from a system? I mean, Leanne, you know. You know that I can't do that. Yeah, I know. I'm on your side, all right? Yeah. Lloyd's face before. I don't think he could bear people looking at him like that, feeling sorry for him. Yeah, and he just bought the house. He'd be rotting around there on his own, huh? Well, I've just phoned him, Tony. Stop it. Such a drama queen. Come down here and have a proper drink with his pals. Oh, very sensitive. Well, he doesn't need all this hand-holding and poor use. He just needs to have a few bevies with his mates, taking the mick out of him. That's what men do. Hang on. You're not welcome in here. Oh, he's been shooting the mouth off. Look, I understand what everyone must think about me, and believe me, it's nothing compared to how I feel about myself. You heard her. You're not welcome. All right, fine. I just wanted to see Owen anyway. I'm not sure what you and me have got to talk about, Chris. I was, uh, I was hoping I could come back to work. Are you off your rocker? I need to trust the men who work for me. I think that ship sailed, don't you? You happy now? Happy. Right now, you're going crying to all your mates about how hard done by you are. Bottle of beer, please, tell her. Course, love. All right. So this is how it's going to be, is it? All for one and one for all. You know, I didn't make Cheryl fall back in love with me. You look at me! I'm talking! Now, there's nothing round here for you, Chris! And just in case I didn't make it clear before, you're sacked! And I want you out of the flat and all. And just for good measure, you're barred. There you go, love. On the house. Thanks. Thanks, guys. I never realised he was so sensitive. You'd think living on the streets would toughen a person up. It's nothing to do with you. Maybe. There's no maybe about it. He has his pride. Happen he doesn't like the idea of people from the old days reading that he's homeless. Well, there's no stopping the article now. I went down to the Gazette, but they've already gone to print. Oh, I'm sure he didn't mean any harm for once. I thought you'd be pleased. I mean, the way you've turned your life around so... I don't I... need strangers Pity! And I don't need me private life splashing all over the papers. I'll never forgive you for this.
Looks like Chris has gone. Saw him get into a taxi with his stuff. Good riddance. It's bad rubbish. Hey, how about we all celebrate with a tequila shot? Not in the mood for celebrating, mate. Of course not. Right, well, I'd better go and check what sort of state he's left to flat in, eh? Yeah, I'll take the van, clear any rubbish he's left. Oh, hi, Lloyd. I heard what happened with Chris. I'm really sorry. Yeah, it's all. Can't believe it, breaking you and Cheryl up like that. Mate, how about we go to the uh, where the arms have that game of pool? Brilliant. Oh, so you're not such an insensitive lump after all. See you later. Babe, can you uh, get me a white wine, please? I just need to have a quick word with Ian. I just saved that one for another one. Hiya. Yeah. Um, I just wondered if you fancy coming into town on Friday with me and Maria. I'm going to try and find my wedding dress. Oh, right. Um, well, it doesn't sound that bad, does it? I'll even throw in lunch somewhere nice. What's going on? Ask your fiance. It's got nothing to do with me. Back in Coronation Street in half an hour.